I have trouble sometimes understanding the world around me. Uh, and um, in engineering, what we do is we scope things. We see, are they even in the same ballpark to be viable? Anyway, we're going to talk now for a few minutes, really, about battery storage and the madness of the world on that. Your Green Party leader in the Isle of Man um, is on Manx Radio, featuring what her preferred backup storage is for wind. So let's cut to that first. We've talked about many times about the base load, maintaining the base load at the power station, i.e. Uh, making sure that you know, people can turn the microwaves on when the wind doesn't blow. So where do you think the base load should come from? Should we retain Paul Rose Power Station and burn gas, or what should happen? So, I mean, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> that there's been lots of reports on this and that they are going to have to overlap somewhat um as we as we roll out the the renewable investment basically we would need some kind of storage so battery systems would be perfect and you know ideally um it would it would allow to work in between when it's nice and sunny um so we can use lots of solar um and then um when the wind isn't blowing you've got that um battery storage uh, source of power Well, here we have a very good example. It, it's the Pillswood battery system, and there, there we have the size of it there. And it is 196 megawatt hours of storage, and it can produce at a rate of 98 megawatts. So it can last about two hours uh, at 98 megawatts. So that is what we're going to look at the cost of. How much does that cost? Well, pretty easy to find that out. 75 million. So that's what you get for 75 million. And typically, because it's a green sort of project, they claim it can power 300,000 UK homes for two hours. So it can supply 96 megawatts at that rate to 300,000 homes for two hours. How much is that per home? So 98 megawatts is 98,000 kilowatts. Divide that by the 300,000 homes and you get 0.32 kilowatts per home. That's 320 watts, which is not enough to drive a kettle. That needs two to 3,000 watts. Not the 3,000 watt needed to drive a basic heat pump even. This is a lie. This is total deception. But it is normal in the green industry. But back to the Isle of Man and what the cost would be to back up your energy supply. Well, pits would cost 75 million for 196 megawatt hours. Right? The Isle of Man needs about 1,100 megawatt hours a day. About that, on average. That's 45.8 megawatt hours per hour with a peak of, say, 80 megawatts. So 196 megawatt hours divided by your 80 peak, you'd last for 2.45 hours. Uh, but an average rate, you'd last for 4.27 hours. So somewhere between two and four and a half, five hours is what you're going to get for 75 million. The problem is that you can have nine days like you had in 2018 when there was hardly any wind at all. In that case, you'd need... 9,900 megawatt hours, which works out to 50 times 75 million, so 3.787 billion. That's 3,787 million. You'd probably need to replace that battery every 10 or 15 years. But there does seem to be one remaining hope for the Isle of Man Green Party, and it's this. Because of the wonderful things he does. 